There's 104 days of self-isolation. Outdoor school has come along to save us. We'll still social distance, but with entertainment, there's so much for us to do now. Like maybe just doing Critter, Catching Fossil and Bumble, or cleaning up your messy room. Different experiments with Potato, or Wilderness First Aid with Trillium. Learning things with fruit about animals or measuring stuff with marmot. Fascinating. Learning to plant with lich. Plant facts with morning glory and obviously camp songs too. This rocks. As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do. Outdoor school is so much fun. Come on, Boulder. Go stick with us. It's the Creekside staff. Creekside staff for making a title sequence. Hello, everybody. My name is Bumble, and today we are going to be doing some fun craft type things. We are going to be building a little fake garden out of paper and cardboard. Um, so some things that you're going to need for this video is, of course, some cardboard. You can just find some cardboard laying around your house. I've got these little um, carbonated water can packages. I've also got um, some old packaging from some mail. Um, for this project, you're specifically going to either want something, some packaging that opens up like this, or you can grab a couple of cereal boxes and you'll tape those together to make sort of like a fold open uh, garden, paper garden type thing. Uh, speaking of paper garden, you're also going to need some paper. Uh, I've got some random construction paper that I found from around my house. If you don't have colored construction paper, that's totally fine. You can also use just white paper and maybe some paint or some colored pencils and markers or crayons or anything like that to uh, make some fun colored paper. You might also want some tape, a little glue stick. I've got a ruler and a pencil and I've also got some scissors. So let's get started. Alrighty, so our end goal for this project is to have a little fold open garden. So you'll be able to fold open your little pieces of cardboard and inside you're going to have a nice lovely garden. Uh, and what I'd love to do is be able to make some slots to put your little plants, paper plants into so you can take things out and put them in in different places. Maybe make some clouds, maybe make some bees, a nice little sun. Uh, maybe some signs to hang on your garden in different places. We're going to get real creative with this project. So I'm going to show you how I make mine. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks, tell you a little bit of how to do the project. And then it's up to you to get creative about what you use and how you do it and how your garden looks. So first thing I'm going to do is take this little fold open uh, packaging here. If you don't have a already foldable piece of packaging like I do, what you can do is go ahead and take a couple of cereal boxes and cut them open so that they lay flat in one piece and then you can sort of tape or glue a couple of them together that way they can fold open and closed at the hinges of the cardboard. Um, I have a nice big center here and some smaller sides. So I'm going to take a couple more pieces of cardboard and make my sides about the same size as the middle. Uh, that way I have more space to do some fun things. So go ahead and construct the base background of your garden now. Alrighty everybody, so once you have your nice base complete for your garden. You're going to want to go ahead and give yourself a nice blue sky as the background. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint a blue sky as my background. Um, you, can, you can paint yours, you can color yours, you can glue some paper on as the background, but we're just going to paint that blue background. Um, we're going to do something different for the actual dirt ground part of the garden. We're just going to uh, paint a background on there for right now. Alrighty, I am back everybody. So I finished painting my lovely blue sky and you'll notice at the bottom of my little background piece uh, I didn't paint most of a little bit of the bottom. That's just because we're going to be putting some paper down there So it doesn't really matter if it is painted with the background color 
Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is grab some paper. I've got some nice brown paper that I'm going to use here. Uh, I'm going to use it for the color of brown because it's going to be our dirt. You don't have to use brown paper. You can use white paper and color it or paint it brown. You could use green paper and have grass instead of dirt um, as the ground in your garden. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and lay the piece of paper on the bottom of your base and just kind of measure out and see how big of a piece you're gonna need to cover the bottom. And then you can mark that. And we'll go ahead and cut this piece down and we'll go ahead and glue them all to the base of the uh, board here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my ruler and measure out a straight line right across my paper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors and cut. Right, and then I'm just gonna lay it down, double check, make sure that it fits, and it does. I'm gonna take it over here to this part of my board as well, just cause it's a little bit bigger over here. Yep, still works. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut enough pieces of paper to do the whole bottom of my sheet. Alright, now once you have all of your little brown pieces of paper uh, cut out, you're gonna go ahead and take a glue stick and glue them all down to the base. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. Alrighty, so once you have your ground paper glued on to your background, you're gonna go ahead and take a couple more pieces of that same color. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out some more pieces that are just about three fourths of the size of the previous pieces of brown paper that you cut out. Uh, so I'll bring it in a little bit closer so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But we're gonna glue just the edges around that way. We kind of make like a little pocket that you can stick all of your future paper plants into. So I've got this piece of paper here. So if I hold it up against this brown paper, you see we're leaving just a little bit of space and we're covering most of the base. So you're gonna cut out a couple pieces of paper that match uh, that measurement. So I'm just gonna mark a line of where I want to cut. I'm gonna line up my ruler, make the line with a pencil. Now I'm just gonna cut it out. All right, now that you've got this piece of paper, I like to hold it back up and make sure that the length is just right. Perfect, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply glue, move this down here so you can see it. I'm just gonna apply glue around three of the edges. So I'm gonna apply it on the, both the short edges and one of the long edges. And I'm gonna leave the center blank and I'm gonna leave one edge blank. Uh, and that one long edge that you leave blank is what you're gonna want up here at the top. So go ahead, I'm gonna take my glue stick for this. Perfect, and now I'm just gonna line it up again and I'm gonna lay it flat. All right, and I'll let that dry now. And once it is dried, you'll have these three edges uh, glued down and you'll be able to slip other pieces of paper in here like a pocket. So you'll be able to create some plants out of paper 
and slip them into this pocket here and pull them out and you can move them around um, and you can even make some little signs to stick in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of my little board here. All right, so now that you've got all of these pieces glued on top here, we're gonna go ahead and set this aside and let it dry for a little while. And while it is drying, we'll go ahead and start making some little paper plants and some signs and a sun and maybe even some little bees that we can stick around here. So what you're going to need for this part are those cardboard boxes that you gathered earlier. They should be nice and flexible, flimsy cardboard. You're also going to need some construction paper. You can uh, grab different colors of construction paper if you have them. You can also just grab some white paper and you'll cut it out and you can color it or paint it later. I've got all sorts of different kinds of paper. I've got paper with different textures, different colors, different sort of thickness. Um, so I've got all sorts of different kinds of things. For this first uh, plant, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make some flowers. Now for the flowers, I'm gonna go ahead and take some green paper here. And I'm also going to go ahead and take this pretty purple paper and this is what I'm gonna make some of my flower out of. So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a pencil and sort of sketch out um, a flower and then cut it out. You can also, if you have a printer, print out some basic uh, pictures, drawings, tencils of different flowers or plants that you want to have in your paper garden and then you can go ahead and cut those out and use them sort of as a stencil to trace um, if that works easier for you. You can also just go ahead and print out different pictures or cut out different pictures of magazines and things like that and use those as your flowers. I would prefer to make them myself so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do but this is for a chance for you to get real creative um, and figure out how you want to make your plants for your garden. So. I'm just going to sketch out sort of like a stem and some leaves on this green paper for one of my flowers. And I'm going to want to keep in mind how deep my little pocket is and how high up I want my flower to go. Alright, so now I've got that all drawn out, so in a minute I'll go ahead and cut that out and glue them together but for right now I'm gonna actually come over to this purple paper so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a little tulip shape just gonna make a big U and then I'm just gonna bring in the corners And I'm just going to draw a little petal right in the middle. So it might be kind of difficult to see, but this is the general shape that I'm doing for my flower. That's just what I decided to do. You can do any sort of shape for your flower. You can make a rose. You can make a tulip like I am. Um, you can make little wildflowers. You can make any kind of flower that you'd like. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. And then if I flip it over, you've got this nice little flower tulip shape going on here. And just because I want this shape to be a little bit more defined, I'm going to go ahead and grab just something so I don't get any Sharpie on this tabletop here. I'm just going to go ahead and sort of outline in Sharpie the edges of the petals. All right, and then you should end up with something like this so you kind of see the outline of the flower a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the stem of my flower now. All right, and now that you have your stem and your flower, you're going to go ahead and take a little bit of glue. I'm just going to use some Elmer's glue. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little, little dot right at the very top here. And I'm gonna turn my flower over, turn my stem over, 
go ahead and press the stem onto the flower. All right, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and set this aside and let it dry. All right, so for this next one, I'm gonna go ahead and make some carrots. I've already drawn out a couple of carrots here on this piece of cardboard. Um, and you can use a piece of cardboard and color it orange like I'm going to. You can paint it orange. Um, if you have a piece of orange paper, you can also just go ahead and use that. I do not have any orange paper, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this cardboard. I've already sketched out a couple of carrots. And usually carrots are perfectly straight when you grow them. So I made my carrots a little wavy, a little curvy. Got some curvy carrots going. All right, so now that I've got all my little carrots cut out here, I'm gonna grab some of that green paper I was using earlier. I might even use some of the scraps from earlier. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out some little like leaf type shapes that we can use for the top of our carrots. So I'm just gonna make some loops. All right, and then once you've got all of your little leaves cut out you can just go ahead and glue them onto the top of your carrot dry. I'm going to finish cutting the rest of these out and then we'll do a couple more plants, some bees, and the sun. Alrighty everybody so it is a little while later and I have finally got uh, all my plants and flowers and things ready to go into my nice background that I've got here. I've got some little uh, paper onions, I've got a sunflower, I've got some little mushrooms to add to my garden, I've got some clouds, I made a little sign, um, and some bees to add to our whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and add everything into my garden how I want it all set up. Alrighty everyone, so I have finished adding all of my stuff to my garden. This is what, woo! <laughs> this is what the finished product looks like. I've got some lovely flowers and some little mushrooms and my onions and carrots all lined up here. And then I've also got some clouds, the sun, and some bees flying around. So go ahead and uh, after you finish watching this video, get all the stuff that you'd like to get together to make your own amazing, cool paper garden creations. And once you have finished making your creations, you can put it uh, in a window where the sun is so that all your little fake plants get some light or you can hang it up on a wall or you can set it up in your room just to bring some light into the inside uh, and explore your creative sides. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all get the chance to make something really cool.